U.S. President Donald Trump is calling for the death penalty against the man charged with killing eight people in New York City with a truck. Legal experts have raised concerns that his tweets about the terrorist could potentially jeopardize the judicial process. Park ji has the latest. In a tweet on Thursday, President Trump backed away from his earlier suggestion of sending Saiful Saipov to Guantanamo Bay, saying the process would take too long, and instead called for the suspect to face the death penalty. It is rare for a U.S. president to comment on pending criminal cases, as it could influence the jury pool in an ongoing trial. Saipov's public defender urged a fair judicial process for his client. I hope, given all of the attention in this case um, and all of the attention it's sure to continue to receive, that everyone lets the judicial process play out. I promise you that how we treat Mr. Saipov in this judicial process will say a lot more about us than it will say about him. The 29-year-old suspect, who was born in Uzbekistan before moving to the U.S., faces two federal terrorism charges. First, material support of a terrorist organization, and second, violence and destruction using a motor vehicle with willful disregard of the safety of human life. We will see what counts uh, are charged ultimately in the indictment, and some of them may be death eligible, some of them may have life mandatory. Uh, life prisons as the maximum, but the process by which the determination is made for counts that do have life, uh, death as a, a maximum penalty, uh, that goes through the process. New York officials said the ongoing investigation found out that the suspect had been planning the attack for a number of weeks, and he was inspired by the Islamic State group. The suspect had about 90 videos and thousands of images of ISIS propaganda on his cell phone. However, ISIS is remaining silent and has not yet claimed responsibility. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.